Good evening. Today, I recognized my proudest achievement to date. And it's, it's, it's extremely humbling. I don't even know how I'm supposed to feel. I've done a lot of things, folks. I've done things from flying ultralight airplanes. I've got skills out the wazoo. If it's me mechanical, electrical, computers, websites, I mean, don't get me wrong. I worked hard to learn all those different skills. But nonetheless, I've been blessed with, with many accomplishments in life as a result. But the best accomplishment revealed itself today. So three years ago, roughly, not quite there yet, but going on three years ago, I started a local Facebook group. That Facebook group was centered around freedom of speech because we had two other Facebook groups for the town. One of them was liberal, one of them was conservative, and either one you had to toe the line or else you were gone. You couldn't talk about anything serious in either one because they would either delete the post or boot you or both. And that's wrong. And so that is why I created our group. And today, it really exemplified why. I couldn't be any more proud of the individuals in this town. I couldn't. Now, I'm not going to show you any down further on the Facebook group because it is a private group. But um, today, we had a lot of people step up and stand up for a gentleman here in town. And a friend of mine, what I'll give you the backstory. A friend of mine's name is John. He uh, was walking his dog the other day, and another dog attacked his dog and caused some pretty serious injuries. Now, I won't show you any further down on the Facebook page or the group, but uh, I, I can show you the, this is highland.thewatchmannews.com. This is the website for the group. And, uh, and I made posts there today involving this. And so when the initial pictures, I got the initial pictures from John of, um, of, of Hope's injuries. They're, they're serious, but... I didn't, you know, not nearly as serious as far as how they look as what they really are. So the the vet had them bring Hope back to them for, you know, a checkup after their initial visit. And they decided that they were going to keep her and that she needed to undergo surgery. So uh, today, Hope underwent surgery. She's out of surgery. And, um, man, it looks a lot more serious than what it initially did. Now, the thing of it is, is there are some individuals, and I want to say first before I even get into that, as you know, uh, getting, getting things like this done is, is not cheap. And... You know, John didn't have the money to put up to be able to have uh, this procedure done on Hope. And he was very likely facing a very ugly decision because if he couldn't have had the operation done, they very may, may well have had to have put her down. We have such an incredible community here in Highland that citizens have anonymously stepped up and his vet bill is 100% paid, taken care of, done. Thankfully, John has not had to make that decision. Now, Hope's not out of the water yet, so please, I, I, I ask you, please pray for Hope and, and pray for John. But the interesting thing is, is... The handful of people who know who the dog's owners are and law enforcement won't give up the name of the owner. Law enforcement won't do anything. 
And this is why this is why the Highland Patriots website got started because this is what needs to be fixed. Hey, I've been I dealt with this for a long time. I've been here 46 years. Now, I'm not going to make this video about me. But I've dealt with some absolute BS because of the, the hierarchy here and because I don't come from a big family name and because my parents' bank accounts didn't have six digits. And it's time this gets fixed. And I am proud of the individuals that have stood up for John in the group. Out of all of the things I have done in my life, without a doubt, without a doubt, this is the most humbling, this is the most serving, if you want to put it that way, this is the best accomplishment. And it's not me. All I did was provide a place. It's the wonderful ind individuals in my community. And I want to thank them very, very much. This is why I stepped up to see if I could come up with solutions to a clear and present problem. Shalom.